I have the one. Hi everyone. If you are hearing any noise, it's just my little boy is around. He's playing around. Okay guys, thank you for joining. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my turmeric face cream. It's a whitening turmeric face cream. If you know you are prone to acne, if you are having acne, any discoloration in your face, this face cream is the best cream. It's a, a whitening face cream. Anyway, so it's lightening and brightening face cream. So I will be using uh, turmeric as a, as a base. So for me to be able to get... Uh, turmeric as a base what i just did is that i got a turmeric then i make tea out of it so this is our turmeric tea that we are going to be using today to make our turmeric face cream so let me walk you guys to my working workshop while we do it together so i will be taking you guys now to my working workshop so if you know you want to have a glowing skin or if you want to really achieve a glowing yellow color like glowing color uh turmeric face cream is really good and if you want to have if you are suffering for any scar in your face you are having any upper fermentation uh Turmeric face cream is the best cream and so I'm just going to walk you guys to my workstation while I will show you guys the ingredient that we are going to be using today. On today's video, we will be needing nice cinnamon. We'll be needing this. Then also, we are still going to make use of our vitamin c powder and uh, we we'll also need our glutathione and uh, we we'll also make use of our alpha abutin then uh, we we'll also need ewa so there's no how we can combine water and oil together without having iwas so this iwas is very very important before you start making any product any skincare product you will always need this iwas and uh, our next ingredient that we also need we also need our propyl glycol this is our preservative all right so let me walk you guys to the workstation while I will show you guys the rest ingredients. And thank you for coming. If you are just coming in, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So let's get started. I will go. I'm going to be behind the camera now. I'll be talking behind the camera. So for any question, feel free to put it down. So, welcome to my workstation. So, like I said, I've already laid out the powder that we are going to be needing. I've made sure everything out. We are making use of a nice cinnamon, glutathione, alpha abutin, and the vitamin C powder. So, let me walk you guys. This is what we are going to use to do our double boiler method. It's ready. So I'm just going to turn it on. And do not forget, this is our turmeric juice. So we are making use of uh, 100 ml. As you can see, this is 100 ml of our turmeric oil. Sorry turmeric juice 
so it's in here i'm just going to do my double boiler method then here is my ewas in here i got my 10 gram of ewas we are still going to do a double boiler method of our ewas as well then this is my oil face so for the oil face i'm going to tell you guys the oil which we have in here we got 10 ml of our jojoba oil is 10 ml then uh, we also have uh, papaya oil we have 10 10 ml of our papaya oil then uh, we also have our rose hip oil so we are we also make use of 10 ml of our rose hip oil then uh, also we are making use of our arm seed oil also 10 ml then uh, also i'm making use of my vegetable glycerin i'm using 6 ml so everything has been added together so i'm just going to put it on the double boiler method while i will be adding my ewas to the oil so i can do everything together in the same separation so that is right then also i have my aloe vera juice here yeah, i have my aloe vera juice and uh, i'm making use of 100 uh, sorry making use of 10 gram 10 gram of uh, aloe vera juice so this is my aloe vera juice so i'm just going to add it to the water face because i want everything to be on the same temperature So that is my aloe vera juice. Please, before you start, try as possible. Make sure your working environment is clean. I like to use fresh aloe vera. And uh, if you guys notice, I always like to use aloe vera on my skincare product. Thank you for watching. Do not fail to drop my thumbs up as you are coming in. So I always like to use my fresh aloe vera. I like to use aloe vera juice or gel on my products because aloe vera is very good to the skin. It calm the skin. What do we have here? Oh wow, mama is here. <laughs> I can see my mama, Pastor Juliet. Thank you, mama, for coming. It has been a while. So that is what we are making now. I will take the water face down first because I make the 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 tea this afternoon, so it's still kind of warm. So I'm still going to take it back, but I just want to heat my emulsifier was first. For any question regarding this video, feel free to come to the comment section to ask because this. Uh, this product that I'm making now is for somebody that is uh, having uh, acne in a face. So I'm making a special face cream. This is for two people. So if you know you are having any issue in your face, um, turmeric, turmeric, uh, face cream is the best because this will make or will help you to lighten the scar it will brighten it and it will also support you to to uh to be reduced to acne if you know that you are very uh, prone to acne trust me i will recommend the turmeric face cream for you because it's a very good face cream so now we are waiting for our emulsifier was to melt. So I still have 
uh, share butter to be adding to it but I'm not adding my share butter now uh, because share butter is very easy to be melted so I'm just waiting for the oh who do I have here? I'm really, I'm really making. oh I'm making a turmeric face cream my lady is a turmeric face cream that I'm making is for all skin type so I'm brightening so it's whitening and brightening so I'm going to be telling you guys what is the whitening uh, lightening agent that I have here uh, alpha abutane alpha abutane will lighten your skin and it will brighten your skin as well so this is a lightning a whitening powder and then also <laughs> oh, thank you so also i'm also using a uh, glutathione glutathione is also another powerful powder is good for both face and body so now that i have my oil on the right side pressure i will be telling you guys now how many quantity of my powder that I have here? So, these are all my lightning powder that has been laid in here. In here, like I said before, I got my alpha abutin. I got three grams of alpha abutin in here. Then I got glutathione. I got five uh, grams of glutathione in here. Then uh, I got my nasinamed. My got my nasinamed. I got eight gram. So as you can see, I have eight gram of uh, nasinamed. Then three gram of uh, alpha abutin powder. Then uh, five gram of uh, glutathione. Then for my vitamin C powder, I got eight gram as well. So because they are water face, I will be adding them to my water face, which it will be going to the... I hope you guys are seeing it. If you are not seeing it, just let me know. Let me bring it closer here. Just let me bring it closer. I hope everybody is seeing it. Let me take this back here. Yeah, sorry guys. I hope you guys are seeing it now. So now I'm just going to be holding my powder to the water face. Why I didn't hide it earlier? Because I don't want it to be too hot because I don't want to keep the benefits. So that is why I didn't hide it earlier because I don't want to keep the the benefit of my that is on my powder so the oil is ready I'm going to be taking it out now so while we are waiting I'm just going to heat this up a bit I'm going to heat it up a bit This is our turmeric lightening and brightening face cream. This one will lighten, when I mean it will lighten, it will lighten your face like, like a light, honestly speaking. It will lighten it up. So I'm waiting. Now this is my 10 gram. This is my 10 gram of shea butter. I'm just going to be adding it to my oil. I like to put the shea butter when the the oil is out of the of the gas because I don't really want to keep the benefits of my shea butter that I'm going to be making use of. So this one is um this face cream that I'm making now is for two of my 
very client that they are suffering for scar and they are having challenges of um, acne. So I just want to do it here. So that is it. Now for me to get the right temperature together, I'm putting the water back inside, the oil back in, because I got all my powder. This is our missing bowl. So our missing bowl is here. Do not forget we are making our turmeric face cream. I want the bowl to be on the set temperature, but I don't like to put my shea butter at the beginning because I know that the shea butter will get this dog even when it's out of the so I'm going to be moving my cooker out of the way so we can have space So this is my Missy bow now. Thank you for coming in. I can see everybody is here. So now this is my turmeric. Turmeric. Uh, in here we go. Do not forget the. Each time you order, if you are going to make any, if you are making any of my video, if you get your products, please regarding the powders that i make use of oh thank you mama for being here regarding the powder that i make use of i might be using the one that is water soluble so do not say because i pull mine on the water then if you are doing it you do the same try to check your try to check your your powder, if it's a water soluble or if it's oil, just find out if it's a water face or oil face. Just find out because there are some powder that is oil face. So maybe I might have the one of a uh, water face. So just try to, if, you, if it's not written on it, go on Google. You will find the instruction there. So this is my oil face now. I will be turning this to my clean bowl. This my bowl has been sanitized. You guys know I have my rubbing alcohol that I use. So I've already turned my oil face there. Now I will be adding my water face. This is my water face. This is a lightning face cream. This one will light, when I mean light, it will light your face. Sorry guys, this is a natural product. It's natural lightning cream as you can see. Thank you, this one will lighten your face, it will brighten it. And it will give you that golden, like, mm -hmm. golden light color, that complexion in your face that will glow like a light. So, this one is a product that somebody requested for this. So, I have two of my amazing people that want this one. So, I just bring it down here just to show you guys. I'm just going to be using my spatula to mix it a bit while the temperature is going down before i will blend it and something that i really want to talk about today uh, there's something that i really want to talk about is that you should know that a face cream is not going to be thicker like 
a body cream a body lotion is more thicker than why the face cream is more lighter so should in case you are making yours and you notice that it's a bit light do not worry as the temperature is dropping down then it will start formulate so i like to use aloe vera a lot and i use a fresh aloe vera when i'm making a skincare sometimes if i don't have i can just use the the one that have been refined but this uh, fresh aloe vera i prefer to use fresh aloe vera more depends on the occasion because uh, it's natural i like to see what i'm making use of because in i'm not doing synthetic i'm doing natural so i like to see what i'm putting i'm just going to be using my spatula just to let the temperature to calm down before i will blend before i will blend so i'm just thank you brother for coming before i will blend it so i'm just using my spatula to reduce the to stir it a bit i'm waiting for the temperature to cool down because i don't like to have um bubble in my in my cream i don't like having bubbles in my cream so i'm just waiting for the temperature to calm down before i will blend and while you are making your your product do not add the preservative while the temperature is still up you need to wait for the temperature to really drop down at least at least to 50 50 or 40 you need to wait for the temperature to come down very down before you had your preservative on it so you see the way i'm using the spatula to mix it it's forming already so as i'm doing this why am i doing this i'm doing it so that they i don't want when i'm blending it i don't want to have bubbles on the cream it's not that we cannot really get rid of bubble we can but oh thank you mama for joining so it's good why if we if we don't have bubbles on it it's more better because if you are having bubbles on your cream that is not too good it can lead to micro microorganism as well so i'm going to blend it now now that they you see how beautiful it is you see how beautiful this one will lighten up your face like sharp sharp but in a very natural way we all know our turmeric is good turmeric is very good too our skin is a lightning agent trust me so now i'm just going to blend it i've, I've already disinfected mine but i'm still going to spray it just because i was having it down there i'm just spraying it so why i will be drying it up okay now i'm just going to blend you see the temperature have really dropped down you see so i'm going to blend now <laughs> started formulating wow this is so beautiful organic cream do work but you really need to be patient with it you have to be very patient with it you take it step by step so this is our lightning face cream now that will lighten your face and it will brighten it and 
in a very natural way without adding any chemical in your skin and with this you won't have any skin damage i'm still waiting for the temperature to come down because i don't like having bubbles on my cream i don't really like it so i'm waiting for the temperature to drop down as the temperature is going down you will see the bubbles will start coming down okay so yeah it's really getting down it's cooling down now i need to add my fragrance on it when it comes to fragrance is a personal choice you can use any fragrance of your choice and uh, once you are putting fragrance on the face cream just try to minimize it don't pull too much because like now i'm going to be using two different kind of uh, fragrance uh, because is a is a face cream that need to treat hyperpigmentation and uh, clear the scar so i will be putting just two drop of uh, essential oil tea tree essential oil i'll be putting just two drop of that because um, tea tree oil is a very good uh, oil that will help you to fight any uh, skin issue is good both for face and body but because it's an essential oil it's not too good we exaggerate with it when it comes to our face so i'm just putting two drop of my tea tree oil then uh, i'm using sandalwood as well sandalwood is another powerful when it comes to essential oil, it's not just all about the smell as well. You have to think about the benefits of the essential oil that you are using. And please, if you are washing on this platform, never you put lavender oil, lavender essential oil in your face cream. No, that is a big no. Lavender essential oil is not anywhere good to close to the face do not use it if you are buying your fragrance remember if it has to do with your face do not add lavender oil as essential oil for face cream because you won't like the results trust me so you can see now the temperature of the cream has really fully cooled down so this one, that is what you should be expecting. You don't have to make your face cream, you expect it to be really thick at the beginning. No, as the temperature is going down, it will be getting thicker and face cream don't supposed to be thick like a body cream. So now I need to add my essential oil. Then I'm not going to blend it anymore. I'm just going to leave it I'm going to leave it as the temperature is getting down, dropping down, it will be getting thicker. So this one is my tea tree essential oil. So I will only be putting two drops because this one is really good. One, two, that's it. Then this is my sandalwood. Sandalwood is very good to the skin. Is like sandalwood is another powerful um, powder. If you are, that is why I always use it on my black soap as well. So this sandalwood is very good. It will help you to fight any apart fermentation on your skin. So also I'll be putting two drops of sandalwood fragrance. So that's it. The other time. I make the one of abiscus. Abiscus, um, that is the one I'm using now. It's really good. It's very, very calming. But this uh, turmeric face cream is really good if you are having any issue in your face. Um, turmeric is good. If you are using turmeric face mask and you apply turmeric face cream on it, trust me. That is a sharp, sharp result that you will be seeing. 
Okay, guys. This is my cream, my face cream. So I'm just going to take the pH. And uh, I'll be doing a video of uh, explaining about uh, pH because when it comes to face cream, our pH level should be 4.4 to 5.5. That is good for face cream. So let me get my pH tester and test my pH. So this is my pH tester. This is it. It's very important we take the pH level of our product. So we should be expecting it between 4.4 to 5.5. That is what we should be expecting. And this is the colors. Yeah, this is the color that we should, I will show you guys now. So I just need to leave it inside. I will leave it to sit for a few seconds. Then while we take it out, then I will show you. We should be expecting it to be between this and this. One out of these two is good. So if it's here, it's too high. If it's here, it's too low. But I will be making a video. I don't know. I will see. It depends on my day. I will make a video so how you can reduce your pH. So, wow. This is fabulous. This is fabulous. Trust me. Let me clean it because it's yellow color. So as you guys can see, yeah, so we got it right. So this is a five. So this cream now is ready to use. You don't need to wait for any hours anymore. So the way it is now, it is a cream and is ready to be used. So I will be taking a bit because this one is not for me, so I can't pull and if it's mine, I don't mind putting the globe inside, but this one is for somebody. This one is out of the country already. So. You see? Straight away. Straight away, it dissolves straight to your skin. That is it, see? This one will glow your skin, trust me. I like to make a turmeric for face cream if somebody is struggling for hyperpigmentation. So this is it. Oh, thank you everyone for joining. So as you can see, you see straight away is soak in. Straight away, just look, have a look. Straight away, it penetrates straight to the skin. Straight. It just penetrates. So this is what you should be expecting in your cream to do. Like it will soak in into your skin and it will glow it. You see? So... If you just come in, go and watch the video for the beginning so you understand how we end up in this journey that we have now. So this one is our face cream that is going to light up our skin. It will glow your skin, trust me. And don't if you are if you are going to be making this cream, don't just pick any oil that you find because it's not all oil that is really good in the face i will be making a video i will be talking about that is going to be a separate video so where i will be talking about the oil that is good for face and the one that is not good for face so it's not all oil that is good for face there are some oil that you will apply in your in your face that will clog your pores it will really damage 
your skin. Thank you everyone for watching. This is me. I was behind, I was talking behind the camera. Thank you everyone for watching. If you have not washed out, you see this papaya oil was made by me yesterday. So if you have not watched the video, go and grab the video. As you can see today now, I'm making use of my handmade papaya oil. So I also make um, uh, AHA oil, which is really, really good for all skin type. So all the oil that I am making in my channel is for all skin type. So anyone that will be specially made for any skin type, why I'm doing it, I will be saying it. And all the oil that I'm making in my channel is for both for body and uh, is for both for body and for face as well. So that is why I always use a carrier oil. If you watch my video, is either I'm using sweet almond oil, or I'll be using grapeseed oil, or I also use sunflower oil so those are the oil that is not too heavy that should in case you are using it to make a product because you can only talk about your skin you don't really know the skin of your client or of your friend or of your family member that you'll be making that for so it is good we use a oil that is suitable for all skin type so i'll be leaving you guys now Thank you everyone for watching and I need to pack my cream. Thank you everyone for your time and for watching. Thank you for spending this your special time with me. I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. For any question about this video, feel free to come to the comment section. If you want to ask me any question about any video that I make, Ask on the comment section of that video so that I will know the video that you are talking about so that I can be able to reply you on time. Because if you ask me on uh, Messenger, I might not know the video that you are on about. But if you ask, you want to ask me any question regarding any video that I make, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, my lady. So if you want to ask me any question about any video that I made, is more preferred that you ask it under that video then it will be easier for me to reply thank you everyone and enjoy the rest of your day bye bye